Okay, so today we're here and we are uh, changing the anode rod in our hot water heater. So we got this old house, this amazing, amazing property here in Pennsylvania. And uh, we noticed this rotten egg, sulfur-like smell. So we researched some things and we found out that what we needed to do was change the anode rod in this hot water heater. So we are here today and uh, mostly Jimmy rigged it with a, you don't want to know how I got this off, but... I used this vice grip here and twisted it off with my boo bear over there. That's my husband. Monkey wrench. Monkey wrench it is. And so we are going to take this rod out. This is rehab life at its finest. Oh, by the way, I'm Inga Nicole. And my husband there on the camera is Marty. And we're excited. This is disgusting. I need plastic gloves, but I got my workout gloves today. So we are taking this awful anode rod out. Uh, and we are going to uh, hope my arms are long enough. All that bacteria has our water smelling like rotten eggs and listen we are city people living out here in this country but we're gonna get used to it uh because we are learning as we go so i got this new rod here i got it for what 25 bucks Correct. at home depot uh they came out we changed the the well tank already cost us at least 800 bucks we got our uh, central air system redone that was a pretty penny and so we decided we're gonna start cutting some corners so we got our own rod here, and uh, hopefully it works out. So I'm going to figure out how to stick this down in here. I believe that's all i got to do. So here we go. Okay, that's not working now. I need space here. <laughs> all right, let's start over. I need some space to get down in there. I'll go this way. And I'm just going to stick it on down in here. And I'm going to take me a good shower. We had to turn the hot water heater off and drain it. We used our garden hose from outside. That took about a half an hour to drain out. Uh, so there's we Also no... had to turn the power off. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had to turn the power off, said. And so now we're screwing this down in here. And I'm going to have to come back and let you know how we made out with that rotten egg smell. But I guarantee that this was it. And so I'm going to switch places with my husband because he's a strong arm here. I'm out here hugging the bear, bear hugging the water heater. This is how we got the ride out, okay? Uh, Old-fashioned Jimmy rigging, we'll call it. And so I'm going to let my husband use his brute and tighten it up. So we're going to switch places here. Let me scooch on over. All right, all right, all right. You go. And so here's Marty. Say hi, Boo Bear. Hey everyone, couldn't <laughs> stand right. the stinking smell, so we had to do something about it. Listen, we have an automotive... Didn't want to take a shower. <laughs> we have an automotive company out here, and uh, so he actually was going to work taking a shower because he couldn't stand the smell, you know. He had to make sure he was smelling good for the customers. But All right, so Marty's here. He's going to tighten up that rod and uh, turn the, fill this water back up, and we're going to take our chances on it. Taking a good clean shower. Another thing we do have decided we're going to add is a water softener. So if you're out there and you got well water like us, we're going to add a water softener. Hopefully make the water hard, uh, softer. Take out that orange tint that comes into the laundry. And we are country living. It's fun. And it's fine. It's rehab life. And when taking out that first bolt, the bolt was actually pretty tight from the factory. So it took a lot of muscle to actually get it out of there. So if you can't get it out... Just know that it does come out and that you have to use, you know, like a pry bar, something, you know, to give you some leverage so you can actually get this bolt out of here because it was hell getting out of here. <laughs> so he's turning it. And shout out, out to Home Depot for actually <laughs> having this uh, universal anode rod. All right, Home Depot. And so he's tightening that screw there and you can do this at home. Listen, if I can do it, and I'm a girly girl playing in hair and all that good stuff all the time. If I can do it with my husband, then you can do it with your partner, by yourself, with a friend, a brother, cousin, whatever it is. But you can change this out too and save yourself a few bucks. And so that's it. There you have it. He's got it all on there tight. And we are signing out the Purnells here. Rehab Life TV. There you have it. It is done. Let's turn the hot water back on. Turn the power on and let's get it cooking. All right.